Call the meeting to order. We'll start uh, with a moment of silence, please, before we begin. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Certificate of Appreciation for uh, Jim. Uh, you know, I've known Jim many years, you know. Uh, he's put his heart and soul into the time, helped us with uh, so many car cruises and, you know, crime watch. And, I mean, Jim was always looking out and still continues to look out for our little ones in the town. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, Jim's uh, off to Florida and he's going to be deeply missed, but I'm going to do my best to uh, stay in touch. But, uh, let me read this certificate of uh, appreciation <clears throat> to James Kinsella. The Bar of Carnegie and the Carnegie Police Department hereby recognize James Kinsella, owner of D&J Records, for over 38 years of support to the Borough of Carnegie and the Carnegie Police Department. And it's signed by all the council members and uh, the mayor. Second. Comments? 
Council wanted to explain that uh, change? Uh, we're making this simple change because we wanted to make the Third Street Jazz Festival a payment for that project a separate line item from the general bill list. Comments, anyone? Okay. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passed. Motion to authorize the $1,700 payment for the Jazz Festival on 3rd Street. Second. Comments? All in favor? Excuse me again. Steve, I'm sorry. Roll call. Councilman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? No. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? No. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion carries. That was motion C now, so your list of motions that you have are going to have to be readjusted uh, accordingly. Uh, please continue, Councilman. Motion to reappoint Chris Green to the Chartiers Valley Industrial Commercial Development Authority for a three-year term ending December 31st, 2014. Second. Comments? Uh, Councilman Katina, is this a roll call vote personnel? Yes. <laughs> Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? No. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to reappoint Sue Kelly to the Chartiers Valley Industrial <laughs> Development and Commercial Development Authority for a three year term ending December 31st, 2014. Second. Discussion? Roll call vote, Steve. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve a request by Sergeant Andrew T. Oros to enter the Deferred Retirement Option Program effective August 1st, 2012. Second. Comments? I would just like to say that uh, this drop pension is similar to the arrangement we made with uh, Chief Harbin um, a year or so ago. Um, that uh, he'll <laughs> apply for. We'll look at the numbers, and, and uh, you know, obviously Sergeant Morris will be looking to select the retirement date. Is the um, do you know Thanks. Sergeant Kennedy if the date is fixed already? The date has been chosen. Yeah, the date would be chosen. He'd have to leave four years from the date, I guess from August 1st to the end of August. Yeah, correct. He could leave in between that period, but at the end of the four years, he has to leave. All right, so no longer than four years, but do you know if the date has been? I don't know if he's chosen the date. 2016 it is? All right, so it is four years. And then, by the time here, Mr. President, um, it's not an agreement. That, I mean, it is, I guess, an agreement, but it is a statutory state authority for the drop. It's not. Something special that's being done right. for Sergeant Morris. Yes, this is a program that's provided for uh, all police that work in the Commonwealth. <clears throat> and I just want to, you know, uh, thank Sergeant Morris. So he's not a way to go yet, but um, you know, up to this point for the service that he's given us, uh, he is one of the top detectives in Allegheny County. He does a remarkable job for for us. Thank you. Any other comments? Councilman Varys? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passes. Motion G has been struck, so we'll move on to motion H, which is a motion to direct the borough manager to take the necessary action to obtain an appraisal for borough owned property parking lot located at the intersection on Mansfield Boulevard and Broadway Street. Um, this is the lot in front of the bottom dollar, or the front of the dollar general store. So, comments? Steve, roll call vote, please. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. 
Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you, uh, Councilman Katina. Uh, code enforcement motions. Uh, Councilman Kobe, please. Thank you, President DeLoss. Motion to approve a curb cut at 703 Washington Avenue. Second. Okay. Comments? Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Motion to direct the borough solicitor to pursue the necessary legal clearances to demolish properties located at 308 7th Street at 645 Ridge Avenue. <coughs> Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, uh, Councilman Kobe. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Demko, please, public works motions. Motion to ratify an amendment to articles of agreement executed on June 14, 2012, extending the required minimum salt purchase date to December 31, 2012. Second. Um, this is uh, an agreement with Cargill where we have a agreement to buy salt from them. We had to purchase so much salt and the borough had to purchase so much salt. Because of the mild winter, the borough did not use the appropriate amount of salt that was required to be purchased under the contract. So the amendment is that Cargill is going to store the salt that the borough didn't use or didn't take delivery of and then it will be used next winter before the borough has to purchase new salt on purchase more salt. And there's no cost increase in bar. Any other comments? Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? A motion carries. Motion to approve payment number nine and final for release of retainage to Robinson Pipe Services for the 2010 sanitary sewer lining project in the amount of $16,000. $62.72. Second. Discussion? Roll call vote, Steve. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve payment application number one in the amount of $371,000. $876.51 for work completed to date by Shields Asphalt Paving for the 2012 Pavement Maintenance Program. Second. Comment. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> with this, uh, as they were doing pavement, there was some damage to one of our roads, um, and I just wanted to assure the residents of Huron Drive that uh, <clears throat> proper repairs continue to be sought out and from uh, the report we got from our engineers will be completed by them um, to make right on the road that we just uh, paved a year or so ago. Yes, this uh, payment is not the entire payment uh, for the payment maintenance program. Some of the money is being retained to finish these repairs. Any other discussion? Steve? Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Council President DeLoss? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve payment application number one and final in the amount of $4,800 to A. W. McNabb for the emergency demolition of 307 Center Avenue. Second. Comment? Um, the, this uh, emergency demolition um, took place a while ago. This house up on Center Avenue <clears throat> was a safety hazard to any of the children and the residents in that neighborhood. The, the roof was uh, cracked <clears throat> off, um, wasn't properly uh, confined, um, so that's why it became an emergency for us to uh, get that house torn down. Any other comments? <clears throat> Steve, roll call, please. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. 
Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Council President Delos? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve payment application number one in the amount of $9,275.40 to McElroy Paving Company, Inc. for work completed to date on the Grenady Park Phase 1 project. Second. Comments? It's just great to see you getting started. Steve, roll call vote, please. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Council President Delos? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve the purchase of the 2012 Ford F350 4x4 regular cab truck from Allegheny Ford at a cost of $23,798 utilizing the CoStar's purchase program. Second. Comments? Well, um, you know, Public Works, they went out and they, they found this vehicle and um, they've obviously been very helpful in our budget, you know, finding things at reasonable cost. Um, you know, when, whenever they have their needs, they go out and they do a study and they find uh, equipment at reasonable prices for us that end up saving the burden of the taxpayer of this town money. So I want to thank Superintendent Hatcher and his department for doing uh, Councilman Demko, is this money budgeted for? Yes. Thank you. Any other comments? Steve? Councilman Katina? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Council President Delos? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to approve the purchase of the 2012 Ford F 350 4x2 regular cab dump truck from Allegheny Ford at a cost of $29,921, utilizing the CoStar's purchase program. Second. Comments, anyone? No, uh, I think <coughs> same with the last one. I, I, but I would like uh, our solicitor, Mr. Solicitor, do you want to explain what the CoStar's purchase program is and how it meets our bidding, how it meets the bidding requirements of the state? Well, that's exactly what it is. It, it is a bulk purchase program through the state, where the state Essentially, we're piggybacking on state contracts and purchase things, and because the state takes bid on, bids on them, um, then the borough can it, it essentially meets the requirements for the low bid. If we find something on coast orders that we just that we are seeking to purchase. Thank you. Any other comments? <coughs> Steve. Councilwoman Cody. Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Council President Delos? Yes. Motion passes. Councilman Sarsfield, please, uh, public safety motions. Thank you, Mr. President. I have three motions this evening. Motion A is a motion to permit the closure of Flint Avenue between 525 Flint and the intersection of Flint Avenue and Logan Street on Sunday, July 22nd, 2012, between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. for the resident block party. Second. Comments? I just think it's uh, great when uh, residents get together in their own neighborhood and, and have these celebrations. I think it brings people closer together, um, and I just think it's, it's terrific to see this. Any other comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Motion B is motion to permit the closure of an unnamed alley behind Hill Avenue on Saturday, July 14, 2012, for a resident walk party. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Motion C is motion to permit the closure of 4th Street between Barrett Way and Diamond Way and 3rd Avenue between 3rd Street and 406 3rd Avenue between the hours of 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. on September 6th, 7th, and 8th, 2012 to accommodate the St. Louis Fancy Parish Festival. Second. Comments? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President. 
I just want to thank, thank uh, Father Pecking from St. Luke Van Seton. He, he had a meeting and invited all the other churches and asked them if they willing, were willing to participate or if they needed to participate in this event. And he also tried to make sure that the streets were not closed all day. So he worked it out so that the streets were only closed for the festival time. So I, I think he was, he's trying very hard to make sure he works with the community down here. So thank you very much, Father Pecking. Any That's other comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. That's all the motions I have, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Beers, please. Uh, count the community development motions. Uh, motion A to adopt borough ordinance number 2376, an ordinance of the borough of Carnegie, amending ordinance number 2352, establishing a shade tree commission. Second. Comments? There were just some minor modifications to the uh, ordinance and uh, the, the Shade Tree Commission's moving right along. Is uh, Tonight before our meeting, we received that $6,000 grant from Pan American Water. Um, in the fall, we should be receiving our first group of free trees. So um, I, I think for the short time that Shade Tree Commission has existed, we've done some positive things here in our community. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, roll call vote, Steve. Councilman Berries? Yes. Councilman Sarsfield? Yes. Councilwoman Demko? Yes. Councilwoman Covey? Yes. Councilman Katina? Yes. Council President Delos? Yes. Motion passes. Motion B to adopt Borough Resolution Number 2012-12, a resolution of the Borough of Carnegie, declaring that there are several vacant and dilapidated structures in the borough of Carnegie that individually and collectively constitute blighted property as defined in the urban redevelopment law. Second. Comments? Um, Mr. President, if I could uh, explain this. Um, the borough has annually applied for CDBG grants to demolish dilapidated and vacant structures in the borough. This is the next application for this year would be CD. CD39. Um, the COG requires this um, resolution be passed declaring the vacant dilapidated structures as a precursor to the borough's application for the CDBG grant money. Thank you. Any other comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Motion C to adopt resolution number 2012-13, a resolution of the Borough of Carnegie, <coughs> vigorously opposing the petition by Rosalind Farms to secede from the Carleton School District. Second. We have uh, a resolution. Uh, we have a copy of that. Yes, we do. Mr. Beers, would you like to read that resolution? I gave you mine in the background. <clears throat> Borough of Carnegie Resolution Number 2012-13, a resolution of the Borough of Carnegie, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, opposing the petition to the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas to secede from Carleton School District. Whereas the Carleton School District was formed in 1970, consisting of the Borough of Carnegie, Borough of Roslyn Farms, and Borough of Crafton, and whereas the Carleton School District has provided a quality education to thousands of students during the past 41 years, and whereas the Borough of Roslyn Farms has petitioned to secede from the Carleton School District, and whereas the secession of Roslyn Farms from the Carleton School District would not only leave the remaining members of Carleton School District in a, a non-contiguous school district, but also leave Roslyn Farms in a decontiguous school district, which would be de detrimental to the students of all three municipalities. And whereas, after reviewing the results of PSSA, SAT, and ACT exams administered from the years 2009 through 2011, Carnegie Borough Council believes 
that the secession of Roslyn Farms from the Carleton School District would adversely impact the remaining students of Carleton School District while having no identifiable educational benefits for the students of Roslyn Farms. Whereas the transfer of Roslyn Farms to Chartreuse Valley would be detrimental financially and otherwise for the Borough of Carnegie and the Borough of Crafton. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Borough, of, Borough Council of the Borough of Carnegie strongly opposes the secession of Roslyn Farms from Carnarvon School District and urges the Secretary of the Pennsylvania Department of Education to recommend to the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas that the petition of the group of residents seeking to remove Roslyn Farms from Roslyn School, Roslyn, from Cronenton School District be denied. Resolved and enacted by the Borough Council of the Borough of Carnegie this 9th day of July, 2012. Thank you. Would anyone up here like to make a comment regarding uh, this, uh, this uh, resolution? I just think it's a very positive step for us. Um, that you know we we are showing the support with with our current uh, directors of the school district. Um, I think that it, it speaks well for our citizens and our students um, that we do not want uh, the succession of one community from that district to have a negative impact on all the students, um, not just the students from Carnegie, but the students from Crafton and the students from Roslyn Farms and. From what I've been told, Mr. President, that uh, it seems like the, there's a, only a handful of residents that are really streamlining this. Um, and speaking to some of the elected officials from Rawls and Farms, it appears that none of them are in support of the succession, nor are any of the directors for Rawls and Farms in support of this. But I think it was important that we went on record as a municipality to show the directors of the district our support for them. It is true that the, uh, the borough of Roslyn Farms has not uh, taken a vote or a position on this action uh, that some of the residents in Roslyn Farms are taking. So it's true. This is a this action to secede from the school district is uh, is being led by a group of uh, residents, and the uh, the borough council in Roslyn Farms has not has not endorsed it. But they also have not uh, uh, opposed it. They're they're staying out of it because it is a divisive issue within their community. Um, any other comments? Yeah, I just uh, like to make a quick one. That this this resolution is not just a cursory um, event. What it is, it's they're actually building a case and they'll examine that case, and this helps uh, with the school district's case on whether or not uh, the. Department of Education will see fit to granting the secession movement. And, and I will say that, you know, uh, well, I, th I think a lot of people don't agree with and everything, you know, you, there's, there's no doubt that um, this is how the system is supposed to work, though. If you, you know, if you want things changed, that's how you do it. You go door to door and try to get things changed, although I don't agree with it, but I do commend them on, their, on the effort because, you know, that's, that's the way our system was designed to uh, when you have an issue, to take it door to door and move it on up the chain. So, any other comments? Um, all in favor of this resolution, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Steve, uh, for the for the minutes, uh, indicate that the resolution is signed by all members of council and the mayor. Uh, at this time, then, we'll go to uh, committee reports, and we'll start with uh, Councilman Katina. Under administration and finance, Mr. President, I have nothing to report this month. I haven't had a chance to review our fee uh, yet. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Kobe, please. Yes, this month the code enforcement officer, Mr. Rome, and I have nothing to report. Thank you, Mr. President. Public Works, Councilman Demko. Uh, just one thing, the public or our public works guys are going to be st uh, start to uh, pay the alleys on Monday. And this is the first time that our guys are actually going to do paving. 
So we wish them luck and hope it turns out great. And then we can get them to do all of them. That's it. Yeah. This was a this was something that uh, we approached uh, public works with last year was a way.